if he's a narcissist, then no, it's not real. It's just a way to get back in your life because he probably doesn't even care. He probably doesn't care about the dog. That was what finished with being a headset. So in this situation right there, they were talking about a narcissist trying to hoover their ex back in um, by into the relationship by using the dog that they used to own together. Hey, we should set up play dates with the dog every couple of weeks or every weekend or whatnot just so I can see them as well. Because, you know, we bought that dog together. We, we made a promise to that dog that we we're going to be there together through his entire life. I don't know about you, but I'm not breaking my promise to that dog. But I'll only come see the dog if it's in your backyard, at your house, on my own schedule. Because I want to co-parent that dog. And any puppies, I want to co-grandparent those puppies as well. No, no, no. I'm not, trying, I'm not trying to get you back. I'm not trying to get you back. This is all about the dog. People will use the pets to hoover you back in. Be careful. Stay vigilant. What is going on, beautiful people? Welcome to another episode of A Narcissist Explains. I am self-aware narcissist Lee Hammock, the diagnosed narcissist from TikTok that uses my platform to raise awareness for narcissistic personality disorder and also in the process of doing that, validate the victims and survivors of said disorder. This series is dedicated to just making my TikToks longer. They are, what, 60 seconds or less over there. This is going to be a lot longer than 60 seconds, I can guarantee you, because we're already at 30. So, so the TikTok you just watched was about um, uh, was a guy named Ben. He Ben is also a diagnosed narcissist as well. That's in therapy, dealing with narcissistic personality disorder. He goes by Raw Motivations on YouTube. I'm going to tag him in the description of this video. Um, but there was a good video about how some a narcissist could use the dog or pets to hoover you back in. Like use the dog, and kid, this can go for kids as well and other items as well. Where a narcissist, when all else fails. Use the stuff that you bought together. Use the animals that you purchased together. Hey, the dog, um, the dog misses you so much. The dog, look, when we bought this dog and she had puppies, we promised, to, we promised this dog that we we're gonna raise her together. And it's, I know you hate me for cheating. I know you hate me for multiple, multiple cheating multiple times, multiple times. I know you hate me, but don't take it out on the dog and rob the dog. Of one of its one of its parents, <laughs> because if that dog has puppies, I'm going to be a grandparent to those puppies. Because I promised that dog I'll be there. I'm going to be a grand puppy parent. We're going to grand puppy parent together. So I deserve to come to your house when I want to to parent my dog child. Stuff like that. Y'all y'all know. I mean, you might laugh and stuff like that. Situation like that. But stuff I can guarantee you. Somebody in the comment section will literally say that. Will literally have a, a common a similar story to that. We just they just does it just happens so much it happens so often that p those stories are they, ha they they are just so common that it happens all the time that like people get people get in relationship with narcissists and they break up and they use the items that y'all put to get bought together the items or the things that y'all had together like kids and animals to try to get suck you back into the relationship that kid the, the our kids deserve a two parent home not if one, if one parent is abusive and cheating and lying and hitting the other one no. Or hitting, not, or all of the above. You mean men, women can be narcissists as well? I know I made it sound like it was just man, a man thing, but women can be narcissists as well. So yes, lying like your parents deserve a two-parent household. Kids deserve a two-parent household if both parents are healthy and having a healthy relationship. Not that toxic sludge mess that y'all are in. No, it doesn't work that way. I guarantee you, it doesn't work that way. You know what I mean? You 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 do raise kids in households like that, and you end up with toxic kids. You end up with toxic adults. They continue the toxic cycle. We are stopping generational curses, not continuing them. That's why I say right now. Yeah, like, so if they like, if you're going to break up with a narcissist, if you're going to discard them, already put a plan in order for what you're going to do with the animals if you have them and the kids as well. But it's more geared towards animals and objects. Already have a plan in order for what you're going to do with the car or the house or things like that, things of that nature. Because anything that y'all have together will be used against you. It just will to guilt trip you. Yeah, I saw a girl in my comment section of this video right here. I put it on uh, on TikTok. She said that they had bought two snakes together, and when she she kicked him out, she was begging. She said that his snake was just lethargic and wouldn't move around or anything like that. So he was begging her to let her like have a snake play date. Like the, the snakes need to be together. A snake play date. It's in the comment section on my TikTok. Go to at mental illness on TikTok and search to find this video with Ben's face on it. And you'll see that in the comment section. It says we a snake play date. Oh, is it on Instagram? It's on one of I put it on Instagram too. A snake play date. Or it's, it's a YouTube short. It's somewhere. I posted it in three different places. It's somewhere, y'all. So that 
that is a common occurrence to use those items to hold like to hold you there to keep you in a toxic cycle to keep you in that toxic relationship even though you don't know you know you no longer want to be in that relationship or that cycle so it's up to you make a plan before because they'll use the dogs against you the cats against you fish whatever parrots birds whatever animal your squirrels hamsters whatever animals you bought together they're going to try to use that and say they missed that animal they're going to text you at 1 30 in the morning wanting to check about check them on benny the benny the hamster benny the goldfish like the, make sure you just swim, make sure it has enough water make sure you clean its water you know you have a clean its tank i was just, i was just, i was just tank cleaner i clean its tank just make sure you take care of it so, like literally things like that so protect your peace in situations like when you ready to get down with the relationship protect your peace and be out of it because like they'll find any kind of ludicrous reasons to, to contact you and not, like there's no shame there's no shame in narcissists like there's no shame in most there there is a lot of shame let me rephrase that there is a lot of shame in narcissists but no shame when they're trying to get you back and they'll they'll use blanket apologies they'll just say and do whatever it takes to get you back to, to get a chance with you you don't need to have play dates with the dogs. You just don't need to do that. Because you can like I see I say this all time and time again. You cannot heal in the same environment that made you sick. Do I need to repeat myself? You cannot heal in the same environment that made you sick. So you can't heal from a narcissist while having play dates with that narcissist. You just can't do that. We, I know kids is a little bit different and things like that, but this is not going to be about the kids. This is about animals and things like that. So make a plan, set it, and put it in order, set it in action. Because sometimes you you might have to give up that dog or that cat to protect your peace. You just might have to. I know you promised. Like I said, I know you may probably made promises to that dog and cat and stuff like that. And you don't want to give up on animals. Uh, like that's why you have to make a plan before you leave. Don't just leave willy nilly. I mean, you can leave willy nilly if you have to in the moment, but like. If you are planning on leaving, make a plan for the pets, or they will be held against you. And I, like I said, the, the type of pet is irrelevant. It really, really is. The type of pet, it does, it, it, it really, the type of pet does not matter at all. They're going to use that against you, point blank, period. They just are. 100%. And I know people, like I said, people are going to attest to this because they will use those pets to hoover you back in. Old pet, old kitty hoover. Old kitty hoover. They come over and have a play date with the dogs, end up having a play date with some cheeks. Do not let them clap the cheeks. Do not give in and try to clap the cheeks on a play date with the dogs or the cats or the kittens. Or, the, the, you know, people have wild, exotic animals today. You know, the the, the, the tiger, whatever y'all got in y'all's house. Just protect your peace. Protect your pets as well. But anyway, y'all, thank y'all for tuning in to another episode, y'all. Today is Friday. It's actually one of my days off, so I gotta go chill, hang out, and just relax. I'm tired, y'all. I truly, I'm truly so thankful for all the support, y'all. We just hit seventy thousand on YouTube. You know what I mean? Seventy stacks on YouTube, which is crazy. Thirty thousand away from a hundred. Um, I really appreciate every single one of y'all. Mental illness is out. Peace.